All right, what's going on guys? So a couple of people have been asking me if there are ways that we can automate checking our health and our prayer and stuff like that in order to give us more mental bandwidth to focus on just, you know, just killing the boss. Like you don't have to worry about how well your health is. You don't want to worry about um, how well your, your prayer is. You don't want to worry about your overalls running out. You just want to offload that onto a program and then you just kill the boss. Luckily, there's something for that. So you'll notice that my screen has the white bar at the top and my touch bar at the bottom. This is because I'm not just showing a uh, RuneScape, but I'm going to show you how to use Alt-1 Toolkit, which is this overlay in my top bar uh, for bossing. You can use it for a lot of other things, and it's very useful a lot of other things, but I'm going to show you some of the bossing applications. So first, uh, one, this is approved by Jagex. You're allowed to use it. You don't have to worry about anything there. Um, you want to just Google Alt-1 Toolkit, you want to click the first link, and then download it. Super simple. Um, after that, uh, you just want to run Alt-1 Toolkit, and then you'll see this bar at, at the top. So there's a lot of different things that, that you can use. Um, if you go in this gear wheel, it shows you all of the apps that you have and then also uh you can download more apps for it on just online um personally the only app i have is the croceus one which it tells you what croceus's attacks when they're going to happen you just need to have it open and then start a croceus kill and then it'll basically just tell you everything that you need to do um but these are all of the uh things that it that it does you can open up a YouTube channel, you can open up a Twitch channel, it can keep track of your XP in real time, it can keep track of your drops in real time, it has a clue solver, all of that is really good. Um, for this video, we're going to focus pretty much entirely on the AFK Warden. So what this does is it lets you set flags that you care about, and then you can use it to ping you whenever those flags are met. So... Here's one I have for skilling. This is for archaeology. Uh, it keeps track of this lobby timer. It keeps track of the last time that you clicked. If your inventory is full, so you want to go uh, bank your stuff at the little deposit boxes, you can do that. Um, whenever you click an, ar an artifact, this will uh, go bright red. Same thing with time sprite, Saren spirit. You get the picture. Um, so that's one way you can use it. Another thing that you can do is use it for combat. So here, I have it for loot beams. This is for AFK combat, but you can use a lot of these same settings for bossing. Um, I have loot beam, which uh, actually I'll just, this is not necessary, a lot of time is necessary. So what I'll have is HP alert. You can uh, set this so that it lets me know when my life points are below 60. So if you want it to just tell you like when you need to eat, pick an amount that makes sense for for you, and then uh, it'll ping you when your life is that low. So here I'll show you. We'll summon a guy. We'll life transfer, and then it's red. Um, it will normally ping you, but I clicked something, so that's why it's not pinging me. And in a couple of seconds it should ping me again. Yeah, so it'll ping me, it'll say on my mouse, your HP is low. Uh, if you click, it'll clear the icon, and then you can eat, and then this will go away. Next time my health drops below that amount, it'll ping me again, so on and so forth. The same thing is true of your prayer. So I'm going to turn a bunch of prayers on, just to have this drain fast. And then my prayer, the threshold, is below 60%. The same thing with my health. So you'll see as soon as my prayer is below 60%, it'll ping me. And then it says that my prayer is low on the mouse. Now, if you click without... Uh, a, it'll make the text go, go away. But if your prayer stays under this amount, it'll ping me again. And it'll let me know that my prayer is low. So this is like a fail safe in case you click as soon as it pings you. Um, 
Yeah, and then for my buff bar, I have it so it keeps track of my overloads, and then the bar will start turning red at 10 seconds, and at two seconds, it'll ping me and say, hey, like your, 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 your buff is out. So these are three very good settings for bossing. Um, if you want to set up your own bar, what you can do is you can load a pre-made setup, load empt empty, and then you can add a single alert. So what I do is I load HP alert, I load prayer alert, and I load, uh, you can add alert again for buffs. So I'll drink an overload. I'll go to the gear wheel on my buffs. I'll pick my overload. And then I'll set this to, you can set it to 15 seconds. Then you can set it to two seconds. Uh, I'm not gonna make you watch me tick this all, all the way down. But those are settings I use for buff, for prayer. Uh, I usually put this around 60% because that's when one dose of super restore will uh, restore your prayer basically to full. Um, I guess you can put it at 66%, that's a better number. Because then a uh, super restore will basically he he heal you to full. Then for HP, I usually keep this around, it depends on the boss I'm doing, but if I'm doing like AFK combat, I'll keep it around 60. If I'm doing um, a boss, I'll usually keep it around 40, because usually once you're dropping below 4,000 health, that's when it's like, okay, you need to like eat, because like you're gonna die. So yeah, these are uh, simple settings to keep track of for bossing. And if you wanna save a preset, once you have the settings that you like, you go to the preset, and then you can click save as, and then you, you, you can name it. Then whenever you want to load it, you can just go and load, and then it's all here. So yeah, that's how you use it for combat. Um, it does a lot more stuff. So let's just go, go, go in here. We can go in utility. Um, it can go into AOD minions. So you bring up this little menu and then it reads your chat box to see what order they were killed in, and then it tells you what order you need to, to go in up here. Um, what else is useful? Uh, the drop logger is like fine, I don't really use this. Uh, you can use the clue solver. So the way that this works is, You, it reads you your clue every time you open it, and every time you open a new clue, it'll just read it and tell you what you're supposed to do. So you don't need to like keep hitting this button uh, up top, which says un unlock any. You can't really see it right now, but you don't need to keep hitting that. Every single time you open a new clue, it tells you where you have to go. Um, personally, I like doing hards and masters. I think elites are terrible, but if you want to do elites because you hate yourself, then like that's fine, I guess. Um, this is the Crozy Sword. You have to download this from another website, but you can just look up um, Sus Alert and it'll tell you. So let me open up a new menu. So Sus Alert Alt Alt 1. And then you can download this. And then this is the uh, this is what the overlay looks looks like. And then this is really good for doing Croceus. Basically, if you already have a good idea of what to do for Croceus, with this overlay, you don't have to worry about anything. But um, yeah, th that's like super, super basic, but um, I think that's a really good uh, I introduction into um, all, all one tool toolkit. It's super, super good. There's a lot of other like cool tools in here that, that you can use. Um, you can mess around with this as you'd like. But um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, this is not sponsored by Alt-1, All so that sucks, but you know, it is what it is, right? <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, um, give it a like, subscribe to me if you wanna see more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.